For more videos visit forthesakeofeducation.com Alright guys, now we're gonna do this problem that says determine the components of the force acting parallel and perpendicular to the axis of the pole. Basically what they're telling you is that this pole right here has an axis, imaginary axis, and they're telling you that this force has a component that goes perpendicular, which will be this force, I'm sorry, parallel and perpendicular, this is the perpendicular. This is parallel to the post OA, this is perpendicular, so they want you to find this force and this force, and that's what we're going to do. So this is how we start. First, what you want to do is find the components of the uh, force. So you know that the, sorry. So you know that the uh, force F has a magnitude of 600 and has a Cartesian vector form, which we're going to find in the X, in the Y, and in the Z. Now, the Z is very easy to find right off the bat because it's this component that is going parallel to the c-axis and the c can be found by doing the magnitude times the sine of 60. Now we're going to find this component right here. This component is the projection of f along the x and y plane because this force sits parallel to the x and y plane. So let's call it f along the x and y plane and it's found by doing the magnitude f times the cosine of 60. So let's find these two forces on the calculator. This one comes out to be 520 and this one comes out to be 300. Now why did we find this projection? Because this projection can give us these other two values. The projection times the sine of 30 negative. Why negative? Because this is the x component and it's going towards the negative x-axis because the positive uh, x-axis is towards the left the negative x is towards the right of the screen so it's negative the projection times the sine of 30 and then the projection x y times the cosine of 30 would give you this vector which is the y and it's going towards the positive so it's positive so this one comes out to be negative 150 and this one comes out to be positive 260. So the Cartesian vector form of F is negative 150i plus 260j plus 520k. Now we need to find the vector OA. And to, to do that we need to find the position vector of all the points involved first. A sits at negative 4i plus 4j plus 2k and the o sits at the origin 0 plus 0j plus 0k so the point that goes from o to a is a minus o but o is 0 so it's the same as a and a is negative 4i plus 4j plus 2k now we need to find the magnitude of OA and that is found by doing the x component square plus the y component square plus the c component square. So when you plug in these three values into this formula, you get that the magnitude of OA is equal to 6, exactly. With the Cartesian vector form and the magnitude of the vector, you can find the univector OA, which is this tiny vector right here with a magnitude of 1 and that is found by dividing the vector OA by its magnitude. So dividing these three values by 6 is going to give you negative 0.667i plus 0.667j plus 0.333k. So this is this univector right here. If you wanted to find you wanted to find this force right here what you gotta do is you gotta do the dot product of F 
dot the univector of a so f is equal to negative 150i plus 260j plus 520k dot negative 0.667i plus 0.667j plus 0.333k so negative 150 times negative 0.667 is positive 100 260 times 0 0.667 is positive 173.42 and 520 times 0 0.333 is positive 173.16 which comes out to be 446.6 remember 446.6 so I'm telling you that this force is sorry this force is 446.6 you know this to be 600 so basically if this is 600 this is 446.6 and this is the perpendicular force and this is a right triangle so you can use the Pythagorean theorem Pythagorean theorem which says that 446.6 square plus the perpendicular value we're looking for square is equal to 600 square if you solve for the perpendicular value you're gonna get that is equal to 400.7 400.7 so this is 400.7 and this is the final answer for the force going along the axis of the pole and this is the final answer for the force going perpendicular to the axis of the pole. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.